What's going on Average Joes? I'm back with a new video and in a new location. Finally in our new house. So as you might can tell, it's a little bit of a struggle to get some recording done and get my videos in, especially when you're constantly moving around from hotel to hotel and then you don't really have a place to, to, to record at. Uh, even though I have my computer and my camera and stuff, there's literally no furniture in our house. We bought patio furniture to have something to sit on. But this is going to be my future office, uh, just waiting for our stuff to show up, which will be about a week away. What I'm going to try and make this a video that's not about an update. I actually have uh, these Kindle Unlimited audiobooks that I want to talk about. Um, story behind that is my brother last week or so asked me if... I, um, or we were talking about books and he mentioned that, you know, I think sarcastically, you know, I wish there was somebody to, a, a list of Kindle Unlimited audiobooks out there and uh, somebody to talk about them. And I said, hmm, uh, if only there was somebody that makes videos about Kindle Unlimited books. And, you know, just being the good brother that I am, I did not refer him to any and I probably won't send him this video either. We'll just see, let's just let him figure it out. So I did some digging because I do like to listen to audiobooks. I like Kindle Unlimited. And I do um, throw in some Kindle Unlimited audiobooks from time to time because, I mean, if I already have it and you only get one credit, I, I do Audible as well. So if you only get one credit per month, uh, I, I probably listen to two a month or something. So they're not like crazy amount of audiobooks, but still, it's good to save the credits for the ones that I really need, especially like the nonfiction that we read for our podcast. I save those four and then like Dresden books, they, they're always going to get uh, the, the ones on there. So I have a list of Kindle Unlimited audiobooks that I'm going to go over now. Uh, another little bit of a side note is, even though I'm not using my main camera, which is over there, I got a new phone, the new iPhone 13 Pro, and I wanted to try out this recording, and this cinematic mode recording is actually pretty nice on the fly. Not gonna lie, I have no idea how the sound's gonna be. I know I'm probably gonna pick apart the sound. It's also echoing here because there's no furniture, no nothing. So I don't know how the sound's gonna be, so apologies for that. But at least it looks decent enough for like a phone recording, so not too bad. Especially for anybody out there that wants to start any sort of vlog, um, booktube channel, anything that you want. You know, these new phones have this awesome depth of field and, and uh, clarity to them. That's pretty awesome. So anyway, let's get into audio books. So I broke these down into uh, genres. I did fantasy, sci-fi, and mystery thriller. Problem with this is it's really hard to find sci-fi. And I'm starting to get annoyed by, and I think only people who read in these two genres will, will, will care, but I'm starting to get annoyed by like, whenever you search for uh, sci-fi fantasy, either on Amazon or anywhere else, sci-fi and fantasy are together. But if you just want sci-fi, then you're still gonna get all the fantasy and it seems there's way more fantasy out there than sci-fi. So trying to find Kindle Unlimited sci-fi books was pretty challenging because the vast majority of them are um, either fantasy or, the closest thing to sci-fi is a lot of times in the thriller category, the sci-fi thriller. So uh, sci-fi will be a little bit limited, but I got some good fantasy. I got some good mystery and thrillers. I'm also going to have some updated uh, Kindle Unlimited books that are now on Kindle Unlimited because they fluctuate a lot. So a lot of the ones that in my past videos that I've recommended either on Kindle Unlimited or their audio versions, they might not may longer be available. So <laughs> unfortunately, some of these are outdated. Um, really, really sucks that uh, one of the main ones that I, was, that I would like to recommend is the Wayward Pine Trilogy by Blake Crouch. Most of Blake Crouch's books were on Kindle Unlimited narration. No longer, uh, the, the narration no longer is. The books themselves are, so if you want to read them on Kindle Unlimited, they're still there, but the narration is gone, so that really sucks. And there are several others that I have listened to in the past that are no longer available. So I'm going to go over some of the ones that they have, and then some new books that are just on Kindle Unlimited in, in general. I might save those to the end actually for the new additions to Kindle Unlimited because I want this to be more about the audiobooks. So, okay. In fantasy, a couple of them I'm going to go over really quick. Lord of the Rings, the trilogy is on there still. That This was on there for a while. The narration is on there as well. Uh, funnily enough, I t when I told my brother this off the hand that this one was available, he said he tried the first book and it was too overly descriptive and he didn't like the songs and I just find that funny because I know a lot of Lord of the Rings truthers are gonna um, probably they cringe when they whenever people hear that. But like nowadays, people don't want to read about these long songs. And I, I I still haven't read Lord of the Rings, but I know 
I'm probably going to skip the songs, and I don't care. Um, so, Lord of the Rings, still on there, the entire trilogy is. I'm not sure if The Hobbit is, I didn't look. Uh, there's another series called The First Argentines. Didn't know too much about it, but it's a four book series, and three of the four books are on there. It's one, two, and four. Book one, two, and four are on there. I have no idea why they skip a, a book. There's another one on this list that skips a middle book as well. I have no idea why. But it's if you want a fantasy series um, that, that you want, can get into a little bit more. Most of the times when you find these Kindle Unlimited series, they're like lesser known or like self-published, like smaller press. Um, they're going to be a little bit, there's, there's, there's some ones that are decently long out there. So if you want something more of a trilogy or you just really want to, some more books to read. Another big one, uh, Malazan. So Guardians of the Moon and Deadhouse Gates, I saw both are on Kindle Unlimited and the narration is on Kindle Unlimited. Now, would I recommend Malazan to, to those things? No, I have not read them, but I know they're really complicated and they're, you need to like really pay attention. So maybe if you're doing a reread, if you wanted to, to wanted to try the audiobooks on a reread, then that's definitely a good way to go. Or if you just feel confident enough that you can pay attention on audiobooks, then sure, go ahead. Uh, even if you just wanted to get a feel for the world in general, I don't have that on my list anytime soon because it's so complicated because I've just heard that you're purposely confused. It seems like details are missing in, in perp on purpose, like you're not supposed to know what's going on, which I just hate. Uh, it's super annoying. And, you know, I just I just don't really care anymore, especially because, um, yeah, anyway, not the, not the point of the video. Uh, next one, Vine Witch. So there's a trilogy called the Vine Witch. It, there's a cursed world. It takes place in the turn of century France. And there is wine magic, something like that. There's has to do with witches and producing wine in France and it sounds like a crazy combination or weird but it could appeal to a lot of people it's probably just from judging from that I think it might be on the more YA side I have no idea but I have a feeling there's going to be plenty of people who it will market to there's definitely a wine consumption to reading certain books correlation especially with witches so I'm sure there's a demographic out there and there might even be people here that enjoy that so that one's popped up on my list a lot it's been um on Kindle Unlimited for a while and it's always there High rating, so could be worth a read if it even seems appealing to you. Then let's go, oh, Garden of Stones. This is a trilogy series, which actually Alan from Library of Alan Zandra, this is a highly anticipated or a book that he really wants to get to or a series he really wants to get to. It is steampunky. There is a, uh, there's a civil war. There's warrior mages, so you have some technology. This is kind of the blend of fantasy and sci-fi. So you have some technology. You have wars going on, the civil war. A little bit of magic, some mages. The covers look awesome, but all three books are on Kindle Unlimited. So, uh, audiobooks. So if you want to mix and match, if you want to read it, or if you want to listen to it, you can do that there, um, especially if you're, you know, uh, some of Alan's preferences and you kind of like his books. So uh, that's definitely a opportunity. Next, sci-fi. I only have two sci-fi technically. And that's because of the struggle of finding them in general. Uh, the first of which is Const... Constance? So there's a book called Constance that actually sounds pretty interesting. It has to do with cloning and cheating death. So like how the elite can cheat death because every every month they upload their their brains, stuff, memories, knowledge into a databank so that if they ever die, all they have to do is upload the previous save, you know, video game-esque sci-fi. Um, if you ever watch Altered Carbon, especially the first season of Altered Carbon, the far, far superior Season, season two was just like me, not even, not barely worth watching. Uh, but Costa sounds like another version of that. Or even uh, The Sixth Day, I believe, was the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Awesome movie. So if you want to read it in a book form, Constance is a way to go, and it is available uh, with the narration. Then The Atlantis Gene, I listened to these first two or three. I don't even remember which ones I listened to. I think, I, I think I'm on the third. I don't quite remember this is another one that book one and book three are on Kindle Unlimited narration. Book two is not. So you have to get your own. You can still read it through Kindle Unlimited, but the narration is not on book two. So it's kind of weird. So if you just want to listen to the first, read the second, listen to the third, or just spend an audiobook credit on the third, on the second, then that's fine, whatever. But they are the first and third book are on it. And Atlantis Gene has to do with an apocalypse that happens. There is this gene hidden from um, like way, way, way back in the past. And uh, something is triggered to kill a whole bunch of people. And if you don't have this gene, then you pr pretty much die. 
and then there's other like subsections of the gene and it gets much more complicated but there's there's like hidden places under the earth that um that have these old tech from the from the atlanteans or whether they're aliens or some sort of awesome society from the past um a lot of apocalypse vibes they is it the rj riddle last name riddle ag riddle ag riddle he has a bunch of apocalypse books he, i think he just loves the apocalypse i'm currently reading winter world which is on regular Kindle Unlimited, not the audio version. Most, pretty much all of his books are on Kindle Unlimited, but not all of them are audio version. So if you like apocalypse type stories and want to try either narration or them in general, just go look up A.G. Riddle. And he's a, he has a bunch of different ones that you can pick from, Any, anything under the sun of um, apocalypse end of the world type books. Okay, now going into Mr. Thillers. These are a bit easier to find. And I actually kind of start to prefer these for the Kindle Limited narration because narrators can be hit or miss. When it comes to fantasy worlds, there's going to be either pronunciations or overacting in the voice or more of a commitment to a series versus mystery and thrillers are going to be shorter. They're going to be a bit more straight to the straightforward to the point. It might be first person POV. So like the narration just in general might be better and it's just easier to throw in um, and just do that. So Dean Coots, if you haven't heard of Dean Coots, you have, probably haven't even been on Amazon. A ton of his books are on Kindle Limited with the narration. So if any of those appeal to you, I've never read or had any Dean Coots um, experience, but I know some people that would. And he has so many out there that you can just pick any of them and just try them out, which I might do eventually. Um, Libby Alone. This is a, I don't even know how, how many book series, but I did the first two books in this series. I've talked in the past. Very, very good. The first one especially is very dark. But it's a very good. This is a very good story. And Barry Eisler actually narrates. He, Barry Eisler is the uh, author of the book. He also narrates at least the Livy Alone series. I'm not sure what other ones he narrates for himself, his own books. But I know those are, and some of his other ones are. I think John, the John Rain is the, his first series that he is m most known for. That one is on the narration. There is also a third one, which actually my brother even listened to, um, and then. What's really, really cool about his and why I want to want to keep getting into his books is because so they're they're thrillers. They're like kind of mystery thrillers, but more on the thriller side. And they have, kind of have to do with vid vigilante justice. So Libby alone is um, a she works in uh, uh, she's, she's a cop in uh, she's a cop in Seattle and she deals with like pedophiles and, and things like that. And for those that, that escape like crime or justice she basically takes care of them and um, and then there's other like ex special forces people that comes that have like i think john rain was an ex sniper or the other guys an ex sniper either way you have these awesome human beings in like nowadays presence and they each have their own individual c series so olivia love has her own book series john rain has his own and the other third guy has their own but further down the line, now Barry Eisler is coming out with books where those three people are working together and doing things together. So it's almost like a spec ops type Avengers situation, not to put it on too much of a pedestal, but it's something like that to where each of them have their own series. And then they all come together toward the end to do stuff together for these even bigger baddies and, um, and craziness going on. So that's why they're really cool. A ton of them are on. Kindle Unlimited with the narration, but most of them are on Kindle Unlimited just to read. So definitely worth a, a try to pick out. They're pretty high paced, um, easy easy listens for sure. So that's why I definitely recommend uh, that one. And any just uh, check out all of Bear Eisler's books. I think he has some really, really good ones. Uh, let's see, Elise Sandberg series. So this book one is Play Dead. I've talked about this one as well. We have listened to the first book. The narration is good. The story in general is good. It's about a murder mystery detective down in the Louisiana area, um, down in the bayou. And there has to do with a little bit of necromancy in the first one, kind of. And it's a four book series, but it's like murder mystery. So like each of them are episodic. So like there's a different murder type mystery in each of them. And all four of them that I've seen are on Kindle Unlimited with the narration. The covers of those are also really awesome if you just want to own those, which I, I like to say, but narration's there. It's good mysteries, good narration, all, all checked all the boxes, honestly. So I would recommend those, especially if you just want a, a good, clean murder mystery. Uh, these are two new ones that I just discovered today while I was doing some research, and they sound really unique. First one, Detective Judy Fontaine series. So how this one starts is, I guess, Judy Fontaine. She was 
a prisoner. She was held captive by somebody for three years and tortured by them and just held in a deep, dark cell in, a, in the basement. And I guess after three years, she was sprung free, rescued somehow. But during her captivity, all she would see, be able to see is like his face, like a little bit of a window. And she was already a cop before that, but she got kidnapped. And then she goes back to the, to the police force and all of her coworkers think that she's too traumatized to go back to it. But what she learned when she was in captivity is all of the little subtleties that uh, have have to do with body language. So she learned all of her captors' body language like to a T so that she's like a body language expert now because of all the little subtleties that he would do and what that would um, lead to because that's the only thing she had to focus on for three years. So now that she's a body language expert, she's going back to, to being a detective. And body language is always something that's always kind of fascinated with me. Um, it's really, really cool to look into. And I've almost gotten books just on body language because body language can tell you a whole lot about uh, how somebody's reacting to you, how they're talking to you, how how people are interacting in general. Body language is, is really, really cool. So this one, I'm definitely interested in because it's probably going to be eliminated on certain body language triggers. So if that interests you, check this one out. And it's, you know, got the murder mystery element to it. And the next one, um, Inland Empire. So this one could be kind of weird, creepy. But there is a serial killer who was caught. So I guess he was caught. And years years and years later, he decides to tell the FBI that, okay, they, they never found his victims. They just, He just admitted or they caught him somehow. But they never found his victims. So years down the road, he tells the FBI that he wants to lead them to where he has stashed the bodies. So that they can uncover all the bodies, bury them properly, give them to their relatives, whatever it is. Um, so he wants to lead them to that. But the caveat is the, the only way he will do that is if... His daughter will be there while they uncover the body so he can actually like I guess interact with his daughter but the so the POV is going to be from the daughter's perspective and I guess the serial killer him as the serial killer how they would how he did his killings he used his, his daughter when they were when she was young to lure his victims and that's how he would get them and that's the setup for the book so that sounds pretty crazy whether she's She's dealing with some trauma and wants to get some sort of closure because she feels like she had a hand in all of those murders. So she wants to uncover the bodies, whether she knew what she was doing or not. But that sort of drama, inner turmoil, and how she's going to find closure. It's also a series. There's, a, there's at least two books to the series. So it might just be a duology. Um, sounds pretty interesting. So if for a quick listen for a, du a duology, both books are on the narration. Seems pretty interesting. It's not, I don't know how much of a mystery it's, it's definitely going to be more of a thriller because that's more of the human side of it versus, uh, I talked about this in my mystery versus thriller um, video. Mysteries are more plot driven. Thrillers are more uh, character driven. So I think this one's going to be definitely more on the thriller side on the character side. So if that interests you. Okay, now getting into a couple of books that I just happened to find. The, uh, these are popular books that are now on Kindle Unlimited. Regular, not narration. So the nar the narration part is over. This is just a, a side note uh, of popular books that are now on Kindle Unlimited. So Gideon in the Ninth. I know a lot of people have either read this or wanted to read this. Now on Kindle Unlimited. A Memory Called Empire. Also now on Kindle Unlimited. Parable of the Sower uh, by K.V.G. Butler on there. I think a lot of hers are actually on Kindle Unlimited now. Most of her books are. Um, a Darker Shade of Magic is now on Kindle Unlimited. I... Thoroughly enjoy that book. I think the I think the entire trilogy is. My wife and I really really like that series. I know some people didn't. Some people have found issues with the main characters or something, but we really really enjoyed it. It's a bit of a portal fantasy. And then, uh, oh, Ninth House by by uh, Lee Bardugo. Uh, my wife really really loved that book. I have not read it. We own the physical edition, but it's a bit of a dark university mystery thriller situation. Big 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 surprise here, and this is one I really wanted to get out there. Murderbot. Books one, two, and five. Don't know why they picked those, but one, two, and five are on Kindle Unlimited, and that really interests me because I bought book one a long time ago because it was, I don't know if there was like a very small sale. I think it was definitely on sale, and I just kept hearing so much hype. And I read it, and I was like, okay, this is pretty good, but like I'm not paying $11 for a 100, 120-something page novella. Like it's absolutely ridiculous to pay that much when... I paid the first three books of the um, Stormlight Archive, Randy Sanders' chunky books. Those three, all three books cost me a, a total of $5 because I got them on Kindle Unlimited deals. And I'm just saying, I mean, that's a deal. It's, it's something separate, but still, they are 
charging way too much for kit for um murderbot books so i basically just said like no nah, i'm not i'm not even gonna bother with those until there's some sort of easier way like super cheap deal or now book two is on kindle unlimited i will probably add that and read that in between others because it's not going to cost me anything and then i'm just gonna be stuck on book two until something happens with book three or four whether it's a big deal and then five is on uh, kindle unlimited as well so if you're on murderbot and you, you're also like me and did not want to pay for those books because they should not be charging that much for books um you can try the you can try at least the first two out on kindle unlimited and then judge from there so that is my kindle unlimited audiobooks and a little bit of an update on new books i'm going to try and keep doing kindle unlimited books also give you a little update about my life going on uh, this empty office of mine again sorry about the audio quality here because well, it's there i got i got nothing i got nothing here so um yeah, let me know what you think about the Kindle Limited books that I mentioned. If you are interested in any of the narrator, narrated ones, uh, whether you do audiobooks or not, or you just really want regular Kindle Unlimited books, whatever, let's chat more down in the comments and I'll hopefully, hopefully see you in another video soon.